I'm gonna just say this one more thing. And I'm finna watch some TV. I have had some of the beautifulest women here in, in, in Phoenix that wouldn't even talk to me in Chicago. Because they they just gullible, dumb, or whatever. I had a girl that was so pretty here. And and we was kicking it for a while, but uh, but she sat up here and she I guess she she was bleeding or something and I smelt it and I usually don't smell it. Instead of her being uh, a woman enough to say, hey, I need some money or something, because I was giving her money, and she wants to bring her friend in to, um, uh, like I was supposed to be a double sugar daddy and stuff, not being smart enough to play the play all the way out. And she, and she, uh, she moved from here, got pregnant, and the guy left her or whatever, but she was beautiful. And I met an um, uh, a African lady speak French oh, I know y'all hate her and and for you to condone your kids riding uh, uh, the light rail in their bras and panties you'll probably just get uh, mugged every day in, in uh, Chicago if you if you move there or something because you, you, you would fall for anything you would see how it feels for you to um, fool somebody unsuspectingly because they don't know a whole town is on bullshit to uh, uh, get money from them on a fundraising or, or uh, sell them a house that ain't here or whatever you would know how it is but you would never leave here you're too uh, uh, par paranoid everything scares you because you steal from people you have to look over your sh you know I don't look over my shoulder no more because I, I once I left Chicago in that 30 years of, uh, and, and that's, that's a shame too. I've been doing crack for 30 years and smarter than you fuckers. 30 years. My own brother got me started on crack the day after I got out of service. And I'm smarter than you fuckers. And that's just a damn shame. And you won't let um, marijuana uh, uh, revenue fund your schools. You want your kids to be dumb because maybe you think they ain't. But but you'll drink your ass off and get water on the brain and think you you um you're a king, and actually you are here, in the uh, the land of make believe. But getting back to these women, they fall for anything. You try to help them, and study them, seeing the whole picture, of seeing somebody stable. They don't have to, because every time they run into a bump in the road. Uh, if they're still a uh, uh, part of the community, they're going to get help. They're not going to never appreciate how it is to be hungry or how it is to be really um, everybody turn their back on. I feel so alone here, but I feel um, I don't feel alone where I'm, I'm frightened, but I know ain't nobody here to help my ass on no fundraising or nothing else. And I can deal with that. I was just talking about uh, talking to my brother today, and I was saying, you know, Junior, if I died here, they ain't going to do nothing but have my ass in, uh, for a cadaver. And I wish I could have just gave you my 100% so you could get some use out of it. Because these fuckers up here is something else. And I was just talking to him about that today. And, uh, and I guarantee you I'm going to get a motorcycle or, or a car on the first. I guarantee you I'm tired of this shit. Because once I get involved with some of you fuckers, it's a whole uh, twilight zone. And I probably wouldn't want to ride in the car with you anyway. But but uh, having your independence is uh, is good, especially in a city like here. You know what? I, I wouldn't even be in here. I can live here. I can go to sleep here in Phoenix. But I, I would venture out to... Uh, Things that I want to see, like talk to Native Americans and, and uh, find out what they went through. Talk to um, uh, Africans and, and try to learn French. Try to be better than I am. Inspire to be better than I am. But you don't have to because every little bump in the road is a fundraising and you know you're not going to leave. Nobody knows you're stupid if you never leave here. So you're superior in your own town. You're a master in your own town, just like um, um, Joe Powell, uh, uh, whatever that fucking name is. Now he thinks he's smart enough to go to the Senate.
They're going to eat him up. And he never will make it there. He's a master in his city as sheriff because y'all let him be that way. It is really sad. If somebody came in here, an uh, organization, and they could take over y'all town and, and send y'all back to school, or y'all would just be, uh, and, man, y'all just, you couldn't keep up. So, I'm finally getting the, 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 uh, the gist of it all is, is um, you're not prejudiced towards a race. You're prejudiced towards another person from another place. Because you have to look him in the face, and when you hear him talk, he makes you mad. You want to slap the shit out of him just to have him shut up. And that's what I'm... I, man, I probably had a cameraman slap me when I, as soon as I see y'all on the street. I'm not coming up there uh, being uh, violent. I'm going to trick you into um, asking me something, and, and I'm going to say, can I say this, and, and what was the reason for this, and... and I bet y'all pack up and leave or cut the camera off. I'm going to watch for them signals. Because see, Su uh, Susan Contera uh, interviewed me a long time uh, ago in Chicago. Uh, uh, we were all plowing snow for like 48 hours in big trucks. I had a big saw, uh, saw ha harper truck. And she uh, wanted to interview me. I said, oh, my boss is coming. She said, fuck your boss. That's how they talk. A little short. Susan Katerra is her name. Puerto Rican, bad motherfucker. And that's why I say Alice, Alice is one of the, the uh, best news person. But y'all done dumbed her down and made her retarded. The longer she stay here, the stupider you get. For real. Just like space. The longer you stay in space, the more stupider you get. And y'all still strive to go further in space, not accepting that that ain't, ain't your, your, your space to go to. Just like you sit on those surfboards and feel like you're entitled to, to um, surfing in that water and that shark come up and bite you in the ass. Then you go back out there because you just can't believe that he would bite you because you're entitled. Thanks.